Kia ora and welcome back to the channel. Um, this is Alvi. Um, today we will be, well, I'll be reviewing the Fine Artist Watercolour um, Landscape set um, made in Australia. This is basically a set of 12 10 milliliter tubes. Um, I'll go through the colours and stuff soon, but it is um, by Artist Spectrum. It is an Australian brand, clearly. And this is an Australian watercolour set. So, like, it's based on the colours that you'd find in Australia. So, Australian grey, Australian red gold, Pimbrilla red, um, permanent crimson, Flinders blue violet, Flinders red violet, Tasman blue, ultramarine blue, Australian turquoise, Australian green gold, Australian green leaf dark, and yellow ochre. Um... And then in here it says colour selection may vary. Um, it's got some <laughs> information on the back. If you want to read that, you can pause the screen here. Um, so yeah, the backs. It's just quite a cute little colourful box, um, which is quite fun. And then, yeah, these are the tubes. And they are kind of like, yeah, white metal colour. So on the tube itself, this is yellow ochre. Um, it's got, um, where it's made up there, um, is it pigment information? No, it's not. Um, just got some more kind of numbers up there on the back here. We have the light fastness, the permanence, the pigment numbers and stuff. And, um, yeah, and on the front there's the artist color, uh, the color name, in different languages and in the series and stuff like that and the branding and stuff. Um, so that's the same for each tube here. Um, nothing too special about that, but um, up here, um, I've actually already swatched them out um, a little while ago, so they're already dry. So um, I'll do another little swatch right in front of you guys, but this is just, so it's already written out for you guys so you can kind of see them um, and how they react and stuff and the permanent and stuff um a couple colors do kind of granulate but there's no heavy granulation um they also are a little opaque the only one out of these i've had a problem with um is the yellow ochre um it's not focusing but um just up here there was some like black dots and kind of textures that wouldn't at, um, go away and they were kind of weird you can kind of see it in the tube right or the pan right here um around the corner um this is the daniel smith set i reviewed but i've added the 12 colors down the bottom and those will be the 12 i'm using um if you're wondering why there's paint on the palette already i actually did a piece earlier reviewing the set but that fell through so um i'm redoing the video here um, I'll show you the piece soon, but first I'll do just a little bit of, um, you know, fun little sketches. I'm just going to turn on the light real quick. There we go. Um, it is yellow tinted light, so keep that in mind. I'm just using this brush that came with the um, Peblo set. It's a really good brush, um, just around maybe 10 or 12, depending if you want to. Um, Try to find the colour, just using my same candle holders and all the kind of that I've pre wet them already if you couldn't tell, but they've been drying before then. Um so this is the Australian grey. Kind of weedy. This is three hundred GMS paper, by the way, by Dale Rowney. Um Yeah. Um one thing I will t um let you guys know is that they do dry. Um what well, Oh, sorry. Um, they crack when they dry. I've got a bit of glue in there. Oh, well. Um, so, yeah, they crack. Um, so, you can can't really tell anymore, but um, some of these paints are more susceptible to cracking than others. The only one that was still kind of like um, moist and stuff was the Australian leaf green colour here. <laughs> Um, sorry about that. <laughs> um, apart from that, most of them, um, cracked already as well. Uh, like, yeah, cracked. 
So yeah, this is just kind of playing around with the colors before I do a proper painting with them. Just so you guys, oh, I keep forgetting to move the camera. Kind of can look at them and how they work just on paper. Um, yeah, I have used them like for one, oh, that's a bit dirty, one other painting. Um, and it was fun. Like, they're fun to use. They're different colours. And I love sets that offer, a, like, a re unique range of colours that are, like, already pre-chosen. Because I honestly want to try new colours, but I don't really want to get them individually. I want to get just a random set that someone else came up with. Um, and that's where I love this one. It's, like, an Australian landscape set. And I'm like, wow, it's based in Australia. And I was like, I've got to get that. Um, the only problem with not being in Australia is that this is damn expensive. Um, it was like $300 for the set overall shipping and everything. Um, and this is to New Zealand, which is quite close by, but oh well. It is what it is. Um, so yeah, definitely other cheaper options if you... Um, are looking just to start with professional paint and you're not really you don't really care about the brand you just want the colors there are other options but I just wanted to try a new brand and I love these kind of Australian labeled colors but I'm sure there are duplicates for in other brands and stuff if you really don't want to um, if you don't want to spend the money on this brand which is fair enough um, yeah, so it did take a while to get here as well, um, and yes, it, it does kind of have some normal colours, but you kind of want that at some point in the set, um, like the yellow ochre, the crimson red, um, even the Australian grey is like a buff titanium, um, I'm pretty sure that's just what it is. And then the um, ultramarine, of course. Um, I'm having, like, the yellow ochre, I find is quite difficult to use. Like, it doesn't really wet really well. And it does have that kind of, like, you can't see it. But there are, like, little black spots in it. Like, where just above the brush is, like, little black spots in the paint. And they don't go away. They just kind of stick there, like this one. Is that one? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just don't enjoy that um, about the yellow ochre. So definitely won't be getting the yellow ochre again. Um, it is, yeah, so I don't know how to get it on camera, but they're like, oh, there's a bit of you. So all those little textures, those are just things that came with the paint. Um, I don't know if it's normal. Um, I haven't reached to the brand about it. Um, I've kind of just left it. Um but yeah, that's definitely something to note from my experience. So this is kind of a little doodle page. <laughs> it won't go to waste, don't worry. Um, I'll probably do some lines over it and make something fun with it. But for the meantime, um, this is the sketch I have. Um, this one up here is the one I did as like my little um, trial. Um, it is a landscape. If you can't tell, it's a little abstract, but that was the fun. Um, up here, it just says the date I did it, and then who took the photo? So, full Wrigglesworth, and then this is the Aussie set. Um, yeah, so this book is, the paper I'm using is by Winsor & Newton, um, and it is a 300 GMS set, 100% um, cotton. Um, yeah, so, and... This is what I got. I've only lined the balloon and I just used the <laughs> More Winsor Newton um, Fine Liner Water Resistant Non Fading Pigment Ink. Um, just all the information if you need it. Um, this is ah, it's not that focusing. Point one, thin point. Um, <laughs> and yeah, what brush will I use for this? Um, okay, I'll just use this one. It, Reeves 14 um, I'll use this one for the meantime sorry if I'm shaking around by the way um, 
I don't actually have a stand for this. So I'm just like over here at the moment thinking of what colors I want. Might just do the background first. Um, regrets, I'm gonna do the sky. <laughs> um, this paper is absolutely beautiful, by the way, if you are interested in it. I love it, it's done me well. I've tried the 200 GMS paper by Winsor & Newton, that was 100% cotton as well. Amazing, stunning, love it. Definitely um, recommend it. It's just good quality and especially if you're like serious about like you want to make you want to have good paper and but you don't want to spend an army and blah, 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 blah. you know you don't want to spend an arm and a leg on paper because paper is expensive um arches is a great example of expensive paper um this one since it is a hundred percent cotton it is bound bound and stuff it well like bound like that so the paper um books I just can't speak today it is actually really good quality and I have personally loved using it so far um and it, it works amazing it works like a charm and it was not expensive to get like compared to other sets that I saw were available and I was like mm, <laughs> maybe not maybe not that one um, the problem, like, with this set, if you are just, you know, starting out, is that it doesn't actually have a cool yellow. So, you have, like, the Aussie, this colour, I forgot what it's called, or Aussie, this one, and then you've got the yellow ochre, and those are, like, it when it comes to yellow options. Um, so... You might want to just get a tube of, I don't know, the yellow um, and maybe even like another blue because you've only got the ultramarine really. Um, and yeah, you should be fine after that. But like, just, just so you know, colors, you don't get this as like a starter set. You get this as an add-on set to all the colors you already have may already have like you already bought that style to see you want something different you want something new and you haven't found it this is a great example of something new something interesting with different colors different options and stuff just mixing colors over here <laughs> i know you guys really needed to know i'm mixing colors um but no i definitely enjoy like the fun funky colors because like I would never buy it, like, those tubes individually and be like, ah, oh, this is a great tube. I love this colour. I definitely, definitely love this colour. Because I don't know. I don't know these things. So I just like getting sets that have a random assortment of colours um, and just seeing, seeing if they're any good. Ooh. I keep moving up and I'm like, whoa, I'm painting, like, down here. I'm sorry. Oh, what is it? Oh, there's little paws pop, pop, pop. Okay. I'm very bad at this, by the way. Like, the whole filming while painting thing. I don't know how long I'll last. Um, because this painting will definitely take longer than 10 minutes. <laughs> um, and I haven't even painted the balloon yet. No. She's panic. Panic. Um, the ultramarine blue is a saviour when it comes to, like, those shadows. Especially in this particular landscape I'm painting, which is also done by Thor Rigglesworth on Instagram, so you need to check that out. Um, it's a beautiful photo. Um, I'll link it to the Instagram below, um, I think. I'll try to. I'll try to remember. Um, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful photos there to look at and just appreciate because photography is hard not everyone is just skilled at taking photos it is something people need to understand um and appreciate hmm. fog is so hard <laughs> um there's kind of like a mountain range in the back as well as everything's going on here it's just, yeah, 
it looks like a mess right now and that's because it is but it'll get better I swear I'll I'll come back to you with a progress report this will take a while if I don't <laughs> okay um it still looks like a mess but it, it's it's getting there I think hmm it's quite hard without the cool yellow um I think I'll just do a little bit more and then I might just call it because you can't be happy with everything you do and in, this is included. So, um, yeah, I'll get back to you when I finish and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, it might not look that much different, but I'm just going to let this sit and dry and just, yeah, I think... That's the best thing to do. I'm just pulling off the tape, by the way. It's very hard to do this one-handed, I will be honest. Um, if you're wondering, I just got this from, like, warehouse stationery for, like, a couple bucks. Um, it was in the clearance pile, probably because it was just a boring print. But it's perfect for the thin borders. Um, oh, satisfaction. Oh, it was satisfaction. Ooh. Boom. Okay, so this is what I've got. It's yeah, like it's it's cute. It's something. It's fun, and it was a nice way to spend like an hour. <laughs> um, and you can't win every day. So, um, I hope this helped um overall the paints are beautiful i just really don't like the yellow ochre that's my one grudge um it's like yellow ochre yes but the give give me a what what is this black stuff in it like the dots like what is this um overall thank you for watching um and i hope you guys have a good evening day night whatever Thank you.